hello friends in this video and in the next few videos we are going to develop a, a small graphic utility using java iwt and graphics so here um, we use a graphics object and the mouse listener to perform line and rectangle drawing you will also learn how to perform a freehand drawing and do rubber banding when you are drawing a line and a rectangle so there are a lot to learn here the next uh, few video series uh, i mean few videos three to four videos so this video assumes that awt is uh, i mean the awt frame window was already created if you want to know how to create a wt frame window watch this uh, video 01 awt frame windows demo and it is available in playlist 04 java awt in this channel now first let us uh, get a overview of what is graphics and paint let's say we have a window So let's assume that this is our frame window and frame window is having an button inside it. So if you see here, this frame window is a container and this button is a component so all the components in AWT is associated with a graphics object. We know that every container is a component because container is derived from component. So we can say this frame window as a component as well. So now both button as well as this frame window is both is a component can act as a component that means they both are associated with a graphics object so the graphics is from java dot awt right so using this graphic object you can do various stuff like you can associate your font to it you can set color and you can perform various drawing like a lion a rectangle oval triangle whatever you want you can perform those are drawings so when we talk about graphics um, say for example let's take this uh, frame window you can actually override paint method so the paint method actually takes a graphic object let's say G 
So inside the paint method, you can make use of this uh, graphic object G and you can perform, you can set a different color or you can perform various uh, drawing operation, right? Like you can draw lion, rectangle, vowels. There are various operations that you can uh, perform uh, using this uh, drawing. Even the draw string also a yeah, graphics method. So we already saw this in the previous video. So likewise, you can perform uh, various uh, drawing using the uh, graphic object that is part of this uh, paint method. So we, we can override the paint, then we can make use of this uh, drawing object. Now, at different part of your AWT, so there may be a button click or there may be a even handler for a checkbox, a radio button or different part of the code, right? So you can call repaint at any time. So when you make a call to repaint, three stuff happens. What happens? So the repaint is not written by us. So it's a API call, right? So what Java AWT will do, AWT will erase the foreground. So it erases all the foreground. So whatever you previously drawn, say for example, you had drawn a line like this and when you make a call to repaint first it will erase this line so if there are other objects that is drawn it will erase all these uh, objects so whatever is drawn in the uh, frame window let's say that we called repaint on this uh, frame window so frame window is also a component right so when you call repaint on frame window the AWT system will erase all the foreground. So that's the first job it will do. Next, it draws the background. So let's say the background of uh, background color of this uh, frame window is white. Then it paints this entire window from. So it paints the entire window remember i'm not marking here i'm marking here it draws i mean it draws the entire window with the background color after that the framework itself will take care of putting a title and this rectangle grass mark all this drawing but here it will be untouched so what happens after this second toss first it erases whatever is there in the foreground then it redraws the background then it will make a call to paint method so if you performed some drawing here in paint then those will appear so whenever you repaint so this is how the sequence is so this will be the third one first it erases whatever is in the foreground then it uh, paints the background then it makes call to paint so paints the background in the sense you can uh, imagine uh, uh, having a brush using the brush it will uh, paint the entire uh, area and it paints it with that background color if it is white it will paints like that so that's why we say it erases all the foreground when it is a painting or you can think anyway so it erases all or it paints the entire stuff with the white background erasing all whatever is there in the foreground then it makes a call to paint and whatever you draw in the paint that will appear in the foreground all right so there is uh, one more method that we can uh, discuss you can make a call to get graphics to get the graphics object associated with a component so for example this frame window is a component right so if you make a call to get graphics on this frame window then graphics object associated to this frame window will be retained and if you make a call on get graphics on this button let's say it's the graphics object 
on this button then graphics object associated to this button will get returned all right now let us uh, look at the example that we are going to develop so this is the example we are going to develop here so if you look here um, this part this part is the uh, border layout edge portion east or west i forgot uh, when we go to the code that time we will see so here um, we have uh, controls one two three four five and one more here six that's to display the more then this draw line will perform line drawing and this draw direct will perform the rectangular uh, drawing then this is to perform a freehand uh, drawing so what happens uh, when you click draw line here in the mode we will say that it's a line drawing mode and you can hover your mouse then you can click a point here somewhere wherever you want then you can move your mouse wherever you want i mean you have to drag your mouse then you can release your mouse button so when the mode is a draw line you will see that a line get drawn between these two points so that's what we are going to do here with a draw line then in draw rect you can pick a point and you can pick second point so here you will do you will press your mouse you will drag your mouse and then you will release here let's assume like this so what happens what happens it will perform a rectangular drawing so here you will see uh, a problem associated with this so when we are performing the rectangular drawing we will so here we are specifying this as a point one and this one as point two so the rectangle draws well but if we do it in a different way let's say this is our point one that means so you press the mouse here then let's say you move the mouse i mean drag the mouse and you release it here so here you won't see a rectangle so this will this this is one problem and we will address that here when we are going to the draw rectangle portion then freehand drawing freehand drawing once you click freehand drawing button the mode appears here as freehand then you can perform drawing just moving your mouse the way you want all right next we will uh, also look at rubber banding and rubber banding is applicable for draw line and draw rect so what happens let's say here you are picking your first point for a line drawing let's say then you are moving your mouse like this but you haven't released the mouse let's say like that so this is how so first you moved like this then you are moving your mouse like this and finally here you click it p2 so let's forget about this uh, portion we will concentrate after so this is your uh, mouse move so here i click the mouse i mean uh, i press down my mouse button then i am moving here afterwards i am moving in this direction then i am releasing it so without rubber banding what happens you won't see so once you release the line then only you see a line that get drawn between p1 and p2 so with rubber banding you can see that a yeah, temporary line appears the appears between different portions so so these are all actually the 
mouse pressed event so we know that mouse pressed will get called repeatedly right mouse release it will call only one times so what we will do we will perform a rubber banding like this so it will show that uh, how your line will look when you are drawing the when you are dragging your mouse and finally when you release it a uh, final line will appear so this we will uh, draw in a gray color to give you a glimpse of uh, uh, how the uh, line look when user is moving or uh, dragging their mouse so we will do the same stuff for rectangle drawing also let's say that it produced three mouse pressed event when they are moving between this p1 and p2 so what we will do we will draw a temporary line like this temporary rectangle so when they are dragging the mouse so this will help how the rectangle shape will look when they are dragging the mouse and once they release the rectangle becomes permanent all right we will see all this in the coming video so we will implement this example in five stages so in the first part we will prepare the ui that means uh, we will prepare the buttons draw line draw right free hand and the checkbox rubber band then uh, two labels one is mode and another one is a label that shows what is the current uh, uh, drawing mode so that we will do in first part then then in part 2 we will perform the line drawing so then in part 3 we will implement a rectangle drawing part 4 is for uh, freehand drawing and finally we will do rubber banding for a line and a rectangle so there will be four video i mean five video and we will continue from our uh, uh, next video so here if you see if i give you a overview for a three button click we need to handle um action listener events so we have to implement action listener then the button will get registered to the action listener using add action listener then we will handle the drawing mode after that actual drawing is performed using the mouse so what we will do we will implement the mouse listener also mouse listener as well as a mouse motion listener mouse listener as well as a mouse motion listener in mouse listener we will make use of uh, mouse pressed and mouse released then we will use the mouse dragged from the mouse motion listener so only those three mouse action is sufficient for this uh, example all right that's all uh, here in this uh, video there is there is a lot to learn and uh, wait for some time for these uh, next five videos and I am sure you will get some knowledge out of uh, Java AWT and how you can use AWT so most of you may have a doubt of when I should override the paint and how do i use the graphic object and when will i use the repaint and when will i use the paint method so what means when will i call the paint method and when will i call the paint method by creating the graphics object so all those doubts get cleared once you watch all these five parts that's all here thank you for watching bye we will see in the next five videos bye again